Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergargar.com. This tutorial will look at using the sum if function in Excel. Now the sum if function is used to sum values based on a condition. And in the example in front of me right now on this spreadsheet, I would like to sum all of the values for only the product wardrobe. It's just a simple example showing this sum if function which as you can probably guess, a combination of the if and the sum functions. Now there are other functions out there that can achieve the same objective uh, and, and more as well, such as some of them database functions, the D functions, uh, D sum in this example. There's also some ifs and you know, nest in your own approach. There, there are other ways of achieving it. With the sum if function, which is probably the most popular we want to sum up these values for these wardrobes. Now I'm going to type it into the cell as we are all function gurus and we don't need to go from scratch. So I'm going to type equals sum if. As Excel tells me, this will add cell specified by a given condition or criteria. In my case, wardrobe. Put in the opening bracket, ask me for three arguments. The last one is optional, that sum range is optional. The first two I will need to give. So the first one is the range, and I'll select cells A2 to A10 because that's where the list of products are. I'll put a comma to move on to the argument of criteria. Which ones would you like to sum? I would like to sum wardrobe. Now I don't have to worry about capital W, Excel is not case sensitive when looking at labels. I will have to put it in some double inverted commas though. So I'm not referring to a function or referring to a range name. I'm only looking at the text within that cell. And the last argument, although optional, I will use. Because he wants to know, you know where is the range to sum. In this case, this will be column B or B2 to B10. They're the values that I'd like to add up. It's very important that, yeah, it may sound obvious, but the dimensions of column B and column A are the same. I can't say A1 to A10, but then sum up B2 to B10. So column A would be higher. Very important that they, they are equal, which of course they should be, but mistakes happen. That should be it. If I press enter, I get the value of 19,000. So obviously 4,000 plus 15,000. Even I can do that maths. And there it is, at the top, equal sum, quite a, a simple function that just moves on from your standard sum so it can add based on a given condition. It can only handle one condition, so you know you can look into arrays or D sum or sum ifs if you're using Excel 2007 or above. Uh, but that is sum if in all of its glory. Thank you for watching. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargar.com.